coffee is life. That is all. Hello everyone, it is Sam and I hope you guys are having a great day today. I am here today for what's probably going to be a controversial video and it is popular books that I did not like. As we're all different people and we all have different likes and dislikes, it's inevitable that we're all going to have different tastes in books. And so as such, there are many popular books and series that I myself am not a fan of and won't continue on with, but I figured I might as well make a video of it and share it with you guys and let all that hate roll in. <laughs> Seriously though, I wonder how many thumbs down this video will get. To start off this list, I'm going to go with the obvious one that I have been pretty vocal about, and that is the Thorn of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. I am not the biggest fan of Sarah J. Mass at all, as many of you guys are probably aware if you follow any of my social media or have watched my videos for any length of time. I just know that her books are not for me. I do not like her writing, and in particular with the Thorn of Glass series, I find the story to be a little stale, it's not very original, and then of course her writing, which I'm also not a fan of. I quit after Crown of Midnight, I haven't continued on, and I will not continue on with that series. I did just most recently have to read A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury for the Booktube SFF Awards, and though I found them to be more enjoyable to read than the Throne of Glass series, I just don't like Sarah J. Mass's books. It's her writing more than anything else. Honestly, I feel like her stories, if they had been put into a more capable author's hands, could have actually been pretty decent books, but as such, yeah, not a fan of her books at all, and I probably will not continue on with the Court of Thorns and Roses or whatever that series is called series. Um, I don't know. I'm still kind of up in the air. Though I didn't much care for those books, I did find them entertaining while I was reading them, but Thorn of Glass, I did not, so yeah. The next series that is actually pretty popular in the book universe is actually a graphic novel series, and that is Saga. I had to read these last year, and then again this year for the Booktube SFF Award, though I haven't read the volume I need to read yet, and I'm not really a fan. And I'm not, not really a fan of the story at all. I don't know what it is. I don't... I think as I've gotten older, I'm less interested in science fiction stories. I used to read science fiction quite a bit in middle school and high school, and I definitely lean more towards fantasy, and so I don't know if it's just kind of that I don't really much care for sci-fi anymore, or if it's the story itself, but I found them really boring. I just really couldn't get into them, I didn't find them very interesting, I found them a little bit tedious to get through, but really, more than anything, it was as I found them kind of dull. So. Yeah, it's a thing. I feel bad because they're so popular and everybody talks about how great they are and then I read them and I'm like, but I don't see why they're so great. I don't like them. And again, I think it's just like a personal preference thing of what I like to read. But yeah, if I, if I didn't have to read them for the booktube SFF Awards, I probably would never have continued on with this series. But alas, I need to judge them, so read them I shall. The next one is another graphic novel series and it is The Wicked and Divine. And this one actually seems pretty polarizing. It seems like people either love it or they absolutely hate it, and I'm definitely in the absolute hate it category. I had to read both volumes last year, um, volume one and two, rather, and I hated it so much. The story felt so pointless, and I didn't like any of the characters. The only thing I liked about them was art. The art was gorgeous, but that was it, and it just, you know, you know, you kind of need a story to go along with the art. If it was just art by itself, I would have loved it, but the story I was not a fan of. The next series I have to talk about is another popular one that will probably be very controversial when I admit this, but it is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. I do not like this series at all, and I will not finish it. I know that there's like the second trilogy or second series that takes place in the future from the first one, and I'm not going to read them because I have no interest in reading them whatsoever. The only thing I like about these books is that his magic system is very unique, which I thought was very original and kind of cool, but other than that, I didn't like it. Not much care for his writing. His dialogue feels so wooden to me and very contrived. The plot moves really slow and just everything about it I just was not, uh, I did not care for. I found them to be very boring and very very hard to get through so though it might be sacrilege to say this especially in the booktube community because he's so well loved I am just not the biggest fan of Brandon Sanderson. He's just not for me. The next series that I have to talk about is The Illumini Files by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I had to read the first one last year for the awards again, and I thought it was so boring. I had the hardest time getting through it, and I think in part it reminded me a little bit of Space Odyssey, particularly with the computer, which if you've watched Space Odyssey, I'm referencing, of course, Hal, but I hated Space Odyssey with a passion. I had to, like, 
I, I'm back in college, I had this class where we had to um, watch 60s and 50s and 70s movies and kind of analyze them for propaganda and that was one of the ones I chose because I was doing science fiction films and I remember sitting there for like what is it like almost a three hour movie just like waiting for it to end and I, I just I hated it and so I think it was reminding me so much of Space Odyssey that I I hate that's why I didn't much care for the Illumini files and the characters I found to be annoying Ezra I think was his name if he said chum one more time in that book I was going to like throw the book against the wall not really figuratively yes but literally no but I was getting really 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 annoyed with his character and I'm like dude find another word you don't have to call everybody chum and it just didn't feel natural and yeah so I haven't continued on with the series and there's a book two and I think there's going to be a book three haven't read them I probably won't unless I need to for the awards again next year but they're just not for me which I think is going to be the case for most of these books it's just a personal preference I've been reading fantasy in particular for almost 20 years now I think my first fantasy book I picked up was a hobbit when I was 10 so for 20 years I've been reading fantasy and I just kind of know what I like and what I don't like and so I why waste my time on things that I know I don't like the next one that I have to talk about is the tierling series I'm not actually sure if it's called the queen of the tierling or if the whole series is just called Tierling, but Queen of the Tierling would be the first book. And I read that back when it first came out, and I, again, found this one to be kind of boring. I just felt like the pacing was really slow. I couldn't really connect with any of the characters. I found them all to be kind of vaguely irritating in their personalities, and the story just wasn't engrossing for me. It wasn't capturing my attention. It felt like something that has been done before, and it didn't feel very fresh or new. So I just didn't much care for it and I've kind of passed on all of the other books in this series and I don't really intend to read them. This seems to be another series that people either like or they don't like so I don't feel quite as bad because they seem to fall into that I don't like it category uh, but it definitely seems to be a polarizing series but I definitely tend to lean towards the I don't like this side. The next one I want to talk about is the Grisha series by Lee Bardugo which is funny because I've had to read Six of Crows and I'm currently reading Crooked Kingdom and I actually like these two a lot and I know they're set in the same world but I read the first Grisha book and I didn't really much care for the story. I don't know if it was the writing or the I don't really know what it was about it. I just didn't really hold my interest and I I didn't really see what all the hype was about because it just didn't interest me I guess and I never continued on. I never finished the trilogy. But it's funny because I actually like uh, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Uh, it's Crooked Kingdom a lot more than Six of Crows but I just feel like maybe they were more well done. I don't know if she just kind of got more into her writing style. She was more comfortable with her writing style or if it was just the story itself. But Grisha is another series that I don't intend to continue on with that I know is quite popular here on booktube. The next one is another one that seems to be popular, though it's still not exactly a widely read series on booktube, and that is the Lightbringer series by Brent Weeks. What's funny is that I read the Night Angel trilogy by him years ago, like way before booktube, and I loved it. It's such a good trilogy. It's like very sad, but it has a lot of really awesome moments in it, and I enjoyed it immensely, and I really should reread it. It's been far too long. But I did read the first Lightbringer book, and I didn't like it. I, I thought it was really boring. I couldn't really get into it. I felt the pacing was very, very slow. I think it really was a book that could have been edited down. Uh, it could have been a lot shorter than it actually was. Uh, the main character uh, was another character that kind of annoyed me, which now that I'm filming this video seems to be a theme for me. So apparently if I find the main characters to be annoying, I'm not gonna like the book. This was another one that I definitely passed on. I have no desire to finish it out. I have heard that book two gets better, so I kind of toy with the idea of reading book two to see what my thoughts are on it to see if I do end up liking the series better than I did with the first book but there's also so many books and so little time so why waste your time on books you know you might not like. Alright guys that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the popular books and series that I don't like. I would love to know what your guys thoughts are if you like them or if you don't like them and all of that good stuff you can chat about it down in the comments. Alright guys that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely day until next time. Happy reading. Bye!